Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to sort of a different Power Up webinar. We're calling it Ask Larry Anything, sort of a wide-ranging collection of questions that people have submitted in advance and stuff we're going to ask as part of this particular webinar, but it's on any subject, well, any subject that I've written about, and I'm looking forward to sharing some of the knowledge that I've got with you. So let's get ourselves started. We're going to get right to the questions, starting with the ones that were submitted in advance. The first two questions don't even involve software. Uh, David Partington asks, um, I listened to your discussion of the new Drobo, but wondered if you could expand a little on whether these Drobos are suitable for editing with Final Cut Pro 10, specifically sharing event media between two or more editors. Are these units seen by the Mac and Final Cut 10 specifically as a SAN? And what does it take to make that work? Once these are installed, how does Final Cut 10 users share media? These are three significantly different questions. Drobo's announced and released three new products, the Drobo 5D, the Mini Drobo, and the Drobo 5N. The 5D and the Drobo Mini are direct-attached, Thunderbolt-connected devices, which, when attached to any recent Macintosh, one recent enough to have Thunderbolt, will deliver performance suitable for editing most video formats. The only ones you're going to have a problem with would be XDCAM, which is about 150 megabytes a second. The Drobo may or may not be able to deliver that rate of speed. But if you're working with AVC HD, H.264, uh, ProRes flavors like ProRes 422 or ProRes Lite, if you're only editing one or two cameras at a time, the Drobo is going to be more than suitable for direct attached storage for a single editor. The disadvantage that Drobo has is that it doesn't have the flat out performance that you would get from a more traditional RAID. Here, if speed is your goal, as opposed to flexibility, like being able to increase size or add additional drives as necessary, there you want to go with the Promise RAIDs, the Pegasus RAIDs. They are significantly faster than Drobo, but if all you're doing is editing a single stream of video, film style, film uh, camera work, the Drobo is going to have all the speed needed and plenty to spare. The Drobo, at the slowest that I was able to measure, it's around 100 megabytes a second. That's about 25% uh, of the speed you'd get out of a, a Promise 4 drive, and maybe uh, which is going to go 4 to 500 megabytes a second. But if you're not doing multicam work, you're not going to notice the difference. It's only when you get into multicam work that the speed is going to be essential. Regardless of whether you get a Promise RAID or you get a Drobo RAID or working with G technology, that is not the same thing as a storage area network, a SAN. The only way you're going to be able to get multiple users to access the same event media is to set up an XSAN, which is Apple's network device. You'll need an XSAN server. You'll need to have uh, connections between all the different um, Final Cut 10 stations that are able to access the XSAN, and you're going to need uh, some high-performance uh, connection between them. At this point, at this point, if multi-user access is something that you need, you're probably going to be better off staying with Final Cut 7 and working with something like an edit share. Edit share will give you the ability to move files around and, and have multiple editors share media. Final Cut 10 is still, as far as I can tell, is still not as flexible in sharing media between multiple editors as Final Cut 7 and potentially Premiere Pro. So the Drobos are fast enough for editing as long as you're not doing 15, 20 multicam pieces. The direct attached means that you don't have to worry about a network, but a storage area network is going to require an XSAN, and that's something I need to do some homework on and write some articles about. I'm not an expert on XSAN, and I need to, to, uh, to learn more. Can Final Cut 10 share media? Yes, you can share event files, but you cannot share project files. So you can have multiple editors in the same event, but you can't have multiple editors in the same project. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library can save you money at an incredibly low monthly price of only $19.99. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information on what it contains and the benefits you get, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store. And thanks.